Right. Yep. I went to Rhyme Tower with Mom yesterday. The view was super pretty. Let's all go together next time. No thanks. You can count me out. I've got no time for sightseeing. Pikachu will come too, of course. Are you hearing a word I'm saying? Oh yeah, no, of course not. All right. What's this? Hello, great detective. I'm here for Pikachu. W Brad, what is all this? Pikachu, you're under arrest. Come with us. Huh? <laughs> no way. Arrested for what? for property damage. Take him away. <laughs> oh, Tim, I'll be all right. It's just a misunderstanding. Focus on proving my innocence. Pikachu! This is bad. It's time for exercise. Proceed to the roof. Single file. Hey, you guys all right? Bodies 
moving on its own. So, so, so. That light. So, so. happened say Huh? What are you supposed to be, the big boss of this place? You gotta be joking. Relax. <laughs> like Jail 101 or something? Excuse me. Tim, I thought I'd find you here. Inspector Holiday and Chief Butler. I understand how concerned you are about your Pikachu. Don't worry. The Pokémon Protection Bureau is a safe place. Hmm.
Wait, is that Brad? Why is he at the crime scene? Okay. Excuse me. 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 Excuse me.
Thank you. Tim! Pikachu! Thank goodness. You really had me worried. Hey, keep your voice down. Don't call attention to us. Oh, uh, right. Mm hmm. Okay. You'll get out soon. Just hang in there. Time's up. Hold on. We're not done yet. What's wrong, Pikachu? My body's moving on its own. Huh? That light? Excuse me.
Excuse me. So that's the situation. Hmm. This is quite the place for a conversation, gentlemen. Excuse me. 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 Okay.
Someone's coming.
Hey. Hmm. Right, Pangoro. Go slow, okay? Whoa! A perfect ten point landing. <sighs> Hey! Hey! Hmm. Oh. Well... Thanks for the help, Intellion. Intellion. Hey.
Hey! Hmm. Watchog, I'm counting on you. Rats, Ratsog. What? Come on, Lightbird. You got this? Saw that. Hey. Luxray, let's do this! Come on! Can't someone give me a little help? Let's go, Luxray! 
Scope it out, Luxray. Not even doing his work, huh? Do you see anything suspicious? Ah, that means I can sneak in through there. For a Pokemon, maybe? Except, I've never seen Butler with a Pokémon. Huh, could be a safe. Yeah.
Yeah. Tim! Rachel, what's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong? Is it true that Pikachu got arrested? Brad again. Is he a detective? He's checking out the cart. I wonder if he found something. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me.
Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me.
Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay.
Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me.
Tim. Why imagine us running into each other again, here of all places? You're that guy who suddenly plucked some of Pikachu's fur. Yes, I'm Charles Murlock, scientist and policy mastermind of Rhyme City. Where's your partner, Pikachu? Don't tell me you two had a falling out. No, nothing like that. I know you! You're the one who keeps meeting with my dad! Well, well, the mayor's daughter. You know, Rhyme City has become rather dangerous lately. I know how much Howard worries about you. I suggest you head home soon. And I suggest you mind your business. Let's think. Mm hmm Okay! Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay.
Excuse me. Yes. Rachel, there's something I want to tell you. What is it? It sounds pretty serious. I don't expect you to believe me, but the truth is... I can... understand everything Pikachu says. Once, when I got lost in the forest in Bamboo Burrow, an Ursa Ring helped me out. An Ursa Ring? That's right. I was cold, lonely, and crying. But it stayed by my side and kept me safe. I know that Ursa Ring helped me because it could understand what I was feeling. And that's why I wholeheartedly believe that Pokémon and humans can understand each other's feelings. My mother. I learned that from her. Understanding each other's feelings... That's really nice. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Hey! Hey! 
Hey. Let's think. All right.
Yes. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Excuse me. Um. Excuse me. Excuse me.
Mm-hmm. Excuse me. Um. Um. Excuse me. Let's think. Excuse me. Okay. Right, Pangoro. Go slow, okay? I did it! Come on, Lightbird. You got this? No. No, no, Eh?
nothing. Ugh, why are they all so high up? Ow. I think this is making me shorter.
Someone's coming. Let's hide there. Please, come in. Thanks to your information, the jewel is now in my possession. As for the matter of that woman and Pikachu... That Pikachu's being transferred tomorrow. Detective had and all. I see. I won't tolerate any mistakes. Hmm. If you'd like more money, deal with that woman for me, too. Leave it to me, sir. Now then, I'd like to see how things are progressing with the control cubes. Yes, sir. <sighs> that guy Butler met with, who could he be? Plus, he said I'm getting transferred tomorrow. Sounds like we better hurry. This is bad. <laughs> hey! Let's think. Okay. Tight security, along with these cubes. What are you thinking, Pikachu? Uh -huh. I hadn't thought of that. A bolt of brilliance! Huh? If I get the other Pokémon to help, we can all escape! And I can finally get out of here! <laughs>
Excuse me. Hey! It's not coming off! It's just too fast! Oh, oh, oh! oh, oh. I got it off! <laughs> All right, I did it! I'm Sam. free! Great! Hey!
I swear, we'll get out of here. I swear, we'll get out of here. I swear, we'll get out of here.
Hey, Tim. Sorry I kept you waiting. Pikachu, you're okay. Impossible. Why are Pikachu and Luxray here? Detain them already, Brad! Pikachu's coming home with me. Because the real culprit behind all this... is you, Chief Butler. I'm the culprit? Ha! What's gotten into you all of a sudden? Your partner is the one who destroyed the Slowpoke statue. You can't talk your way out of this. You're just playing innocent. Tim, be sure to start off strong. That night, Pikachu was at the Hi-Hat Cafe. A witness saw him there, drinking coffee. I couldn't care less about that. I have irrefutable proof of his guilt. The police have the surveillance camera footage. Are you suggesting it's some other Pokémon in that footage? It clearly shows your Pikachu committing the crime! It's a transformed Ditto. A transformed Ditto? A Ditto recently went missing. And according to its partner... It's not great at transforming and can only imitate what it's able to see. Now look at this. What am I looking at, exactly? There are no stripes on its back. Which means that Pikachu is not my partner. You actually think me and that Ditto are working together? Didn't you just say that Ditto has a partner of its own? If I gave it orders, it wouldn't have listened to me. The Pokémon in your custody had devices attached to their backs. We put those on in order to manage them. What's wrong with that? Those devices can be used to completely control Pokémon. What are you... that's nonsense! Now that you mention it, when the devices were glowing, the Pokémon did whatever they were told. Don't tell me you believe this! Evolve. <laughs> do you hear yourself right now? A device that controls Pokémon? Nonsense. As if something like that could even exist. And even if it did, you have no evidence that I used it. But I do have evidence. Take a look. How did... How do you have this? Brad, was it you? Huh? Stop trying to deflect. These documents were found in your office. Which means, you were in fact using this device. Documents? Ha! <laughs> You're mistaken, that's all. I'm the chief of the PPB. I would never do such a thing. I don't even have a motive! I've discovered your motive. Look at this. Unitas provided you with the devices, and you provided them with detained Pokémon in exchange for large sums of money. <sighs> You're not detaining Pokémon here. You're kidnapping them! Well, Chief Butler, did I miss anything? Exposed by this kid. You never stood a chance against us, Butler.
Wonderful work, Tim. Thanks. Pikachu, you were amazing too. I owe you two big time. Anyway, now you can finally get out of here. Yeah, and I could really go for some coffee after this. That was great detective work, Tim. On behalf of the Rhyme City Police, you have our sincerest gratitude. Lieutenant. Hmm. Now, Chief Butler, please hand over the controller. There goes our proof. Well, that's just great. Well, Chief, no, Butler. I've got a lot of questions for you. Now, come with me. Blinded by cash, he lost sight of the path of justice. Yeah. So, you'll take care of dinner tonight? Yeah, no problem. It won't be anything special, though. Oh, I still need to get Sophia. Oh, hey! Irene! You dropped your ring! <clears throat> right, she can't understand me. Oh, well. This is Harry's re- <laughs> Well... It's done. Was it the right choice? I did what's best for my family. B? Even if it makes me the bad guy. If I told her the truth, Irene... She never agreed to a divorce. <laughs> You're the only one I can confide in, Pikachu. Pika Vega.
This was his ring. When your father left, he didn't take it with him. Are you getting a divorce? No way! Don't worry. We're not. He may have said that's what he wanted. But when he said it, he couldn't bring himself to look me in the eye. He always does that when he's hiding something. I'm sure he got involved in some sort of incident. So he pushed us away to make sure his family stayed clear of any danger. Mom. Looks like Unitas has their next target. Rachel's friend, Jessica. Tomorrow, we'll go to Bamboo Burrow and make sure Jessica is safe. And if she has any information about Unitas, that'll get us closer to solving this case.